Imagine having to boil your water for everything you do, from washing your clothes to even brushing your teeth. That's a reality for parts of Okmulgee County. And the worst part about it, it's been going on for weeks. You got me buying your water, and your water ain't no good, no better than the water I had. Gone are the days of well water, says Virgil Armstead. He's an Army veteran who enjoys his retirement with his sister Leanna. But lately it seems their days are filled with constant boiling. You're afraid to take too many showers, too many baths. You have to brush your teeth, wash your hair, wash your dishes, wash your clothes, <laughs> all of that. And, and you know, I figure it's a risk and all of that stuff. I don't want to get sick. Between coffee, cooking, washing dishes, about 25 gallons. It's been one month since residents in District 4 learned their water tested positive for E. coli, a byproduct of recent flooding. Since then, it's been a slow and expensive repair. We have to go by DEQ's guidelines to get off of this. Basically, the chlorination is not as strong as it used to be. By the time it reaches the end of our line, it's low. The Department of Environmental Quality is requiring the district to install a chlorinator. Kenneth Flannery hopes that will solve the problem once and for all. We're hoping three or four weeks we can get some chlorination in our lines. It won't be a day too soon for residents like Virgil and Leanna. I served my country for 24 years, you know, and stuff. I feel like I earn every right I get. I want clean water, what I had before, not what they're saying we got now. Now the water district says the boil order cannot be lifted until that new equipment is installed. But in the meantime, they say the water tanks, they will be cleaned sometime this week. In Okmulgee County, Darcy Jackson, two works for you.